Good day to all TVET lecturers. I'm Amanda Skinner from Macmillan and I'm going to tell you about all the recent updates to the Building and Structural Surveying N5 curriculum. The revised BSS N5 curriculum is being implemented in the second trimester of 2023. Lecturers and students will need the latest textbooks. We recommend TVET First's excellent BSS N5 Students Book and Lecturer's Guide which have been approved by the DHET. The logo Revised Curriculum 2023 tells you that this book covers the 2023 curriculum in full. Later in this video, I will demonstrate how the TVET First books will help you implement the revised curriculum with ease. But now, let's focus on the curriculum itself. The new BSS curriculum gives students a thorough foundation in the practice, theory and methods used in structural surveying, particularly as it relates to building construction. Fortunately, the module names and sequence in the new curriculum are still the same, but there are important changes to the content. Module 1 now details the content in eight learning outcomes. It adds topographic surveying to the list of new terms to be explained. Another new outcome relates to the three stages of the process of surveying. Module 2 describes the learning content in terms of 14 specific learning outcomes. The requirements to obtain sufficient accuracy when taping are new. The principal steps in the routine of plotting maps and plans are also new. In addition, the five learning outcomes on coordinates are new. The terms joins and polar are explained and students need to perform three types of calculations involving coordinates. Module 3 on height measurement with its 11 learning outcomes has even more changes. There is new content on the types and principles of leveling and leveling errors. Several more leveling instruments and their functions are included. Students are also expected to calculate the elevation of points over both a short and a long distance. Module 4 adds the purpose and principles of angular measurement. The concept of tachometry is also covered in more detail. Module 5 specifies the surveying of a small building in more detail. The students need to explain building regulations and building construction practices. They have to interpret and classify the drawings in the design and production stages of a small building. Students must also construct drawings showing the elevation of all sides of the building, including the relevant roads, drainage, electrical and other related aspects. The last module, Module 6, on setting out, has been updated the most. Module 6 has 11 learning outcomes. These deal with, for example, constraints in setting out a building. Students need to analyse the procedures for rectifying problems, including the use of boning rods, excavations and slope stakes. Students have to interpret readings from a pipeline drawing, determine the slope ratio of pipelines and the pipe length and draw the proposed drain. They also need to explain sight rails in more detail and calculate staff readings for setting out sight rails. The module weightings were not specified in the previous curriculum, but the new curriculum includes a table of modules and their weightings included in this video. The TVET First Building and Structural Surveying N5 Students Book is the ideal textbook for guiding students towards success in their studies. One of its unique features is that it includes practical advice from a practicing building professional. The Students Book supports students and takes them through every requirement of the revised curriculum. The language is clear and there are explanations of the new terminology. The book offers a simple step-by-step -step approach to problem solving. The many diagrams and photographs 
link the content to real life situations and make learning fun. There are plenty of varied activities to consolidate the student's knowledge and prepare them for examinations. The summaries at the end of each module will help students with revision and exam preparation. The summative assessments offer excellent practice and can be used as class tests. The TVET First Lecturer's Guide, which is approved by the DHET, includes detailed answers to all the activities in the student's book. The Lecturer's Guide sets out calculations and diagrams wherever these are needed. There is also a suggested 10-week teaching plan, an overview of the learning outcomes per module to help you plan your lessons, as well as a photocopyable lesson plan template. TVET First textbooks are approved by the DHET and trusted by lecturers. For the best results, trust TVET First.